Hello, I'm Joyce DiDonato. I'm on my last day of recording my next disc, which is called Diva Devo, which is a really exciting exploration into the world of the mezzo-soprano, where I spend half of my time in pants and I spend the other time in skirts. I get to explore the wonderful theatrical world of opera, singing different composers who are telling the same story from the point of view of a boy and the point of view of a girl. One of the things I love about opera is the theater of it. And we have such great stories, and a lot of these stories overlap different composers. We're presenting Non Piu Mesta, which is paired with the Prince Charmant, the Prince Charming of Massenet. And it makes a really lovely coupling because we have the sort of um, meek melancholy of the Prince Charming with this triumphant young woman who has seen goodness triumph and all of these pants rolls on this disc in particular they're really intense and they're at moments that are a very heightened theater <laughs>
Why do we have a woman portray portraying a young boy? I've found over my career that these are some of my favorite roles. They are ardent, passionate, romantic. They're on the verge of manhood, but they're not quite there yet. So there's a whole world of discovery that is waiting for them. The role of Romeo for me is one of the pinnacle roles in the repertoire for a mezzo-soprano. First of all, it's such an iconic literary character, and we all know the story of Romeo and Juliet, and, and we all have lived it in, in one way or another, I think. And in, in this case, we meet Romeo for his first aria. It's his first entrance on the stage. He is disguised. He's not presenting himself as Romeo, but he's in disguise trying to come and offer peace to his warring family. And it's very, very important for him to try and achieve this because if he can bring these two families together, then he can live in peace with Giulietta, his, his love. And I think that's very challenging and wonderful to portray as a performer because you really see the hot-headedness of him and the passion that he has. So it's, um, it's for me, one of the greatest entrance arias of all time. You see so much in the character of Romeo, and uh, it's a joy for me to sing. <laughs> Ah!